کشه تو را از اول فاطمه ریخته السلام علیکم پیس ام بلسنگز اف الله بی اپون یو آل ویلکم تو ای نیو لایف رپورت فرم دی هولی لند اف کربلا Respected viewers, we are in the streets neighboring the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Fadl Abbas reporting to you live the atmosphere of the pilgrimage of the mid of Sha'bam where the anniversary of, uh, of the, the birth anniversary of Imam Mahdi uh, may Allah hasten his reappearance. Uh, the general atmosphere as you see now thousands of pilgrims are flocking uh, into the city, into the holy city of Karbala, particularly the old city where the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Fadl Abbas, peace be upon them. And uh, in addition to that, uh, the, uh, as we said before, uh, six, more than 600 uh, services units registered uh, for the, for the, to provide the services for the pilgrims of, uh, of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Fadl Abbas, peace be upon them. In addition to that, uh, the uh, popular mobilization units announced that more than 2,500 uh, volunteer soldiers uh, joined the service uh, on, the, on the surroundings of, of the holy city of Karbala to uh, protect the city from uh, any possible uh, terrorist attack. Respected viewers, uh, I have my brother here, a pilgrim. Uh, who will join me for a, a few questions about uh, the pilgrimage uh, and about the, the reason that brought him here to the holy city of Karbala. You know, many pilgrims, uh, uh, hundreds of thousands and probably uh, millions of pilgrims uh, on this anniversary in particular, we have in here. Uh, but many, many of you, my dear viewers, wonder what brings those people into the city of Karbala. What is the reason that pushes them? to be at this uh, place in this particular time. I have my brother here. Assalamu alaikum wa aziz. Uh, uh, my brother's name here is uh, Mahdi uh, Al Nasri and he is uh, from the populations of the holy city uh, of, uh, of Karbala. أخي العزيز احكي لي عن الزيارة ولكن جملة بجملة حتى أتمكن من ترجمتها للمشاهدين. إن شاء الله. طبعاً هذه الحشود المليونية اللي متجه متجه إلى كابلاء مقدسة. إحنا متعودين عليها وإن شاء الله السنة الزيارة أقوى من السنين الفاتت رغم الأجواء الحارة. My brother here says that the millions of pilgrims flocking into the holy city of Karbala is not is not a new thing in particular because uh, we are used to such uh, great numbers coming to the holy uh, city of Karbala to perform the ziyara rituals uh, to Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. And that uh, these, uh, these millions of people uh, challenge uh, the hot weather and uh, you know, uh, the general atmosphere because it's, 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 it's basically uh, almost summer in Iraq. At the moment, كمل أخي العزيز. نعم، مثل ما قلت لحضركم الأجواء الحارة ووقت الامتحانات المدارس، لكن كل هذا ما أثرت بالزيارة المليونية الشعبانية. الناس تتوجه إلى كربلاء المقدسة ولا يهم هالحر ولا يهم الامتحانات ولا أمور دنيوية. My brother here also added that despite the fact that you know the rising temperatures in addition to the circumstances are of students in general that uh, basically it's examinations time you know uh, students are preparing uh, to attend their final examinations uh, uh, through uh, you know uh, in a few in a few weeks uh, you see you see all of that worldly uh, you know uh, circumstances never uh, prevented uh, the pilgrims uh, from from coming to the holy city of karbala uh, and from performing the uh, ziyarah rituals uh, to Imam Hussein. عندي سؤال ثاني شنو تعتقد شنو اللي تعتقده السبب اللي اللي دا يجيب هذول الزوار كليتهم الكربلاء؟ سبب واحد. حب أهل البيت. حب أهل البيت. ما شاء الله. My brother here, I I just asked him about the reason that brings those uh, uh, million millions of people to the holy city of Karbala, and he made it very short. He said that. Uh, the love of the Ahl al-Bayt, the love of uh, Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. 
is the only uh, reason that brings people here and which takes me back to yesterday my brother Ali Fadl have spoke uh, of the call which is something very interesting to point out and to repeat uh, from my brother he said that uh, at the very beginning uh, when uh, Abraham Prophet Abraham uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the obligation to uh, build the holy Kaaba and after he finished you know uh, the construction of, of Kaaba Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered him to make a call the call of uh, labbaik allahumma labbaik uh, abraham at that time said uh, oh lord there are no people around me to hear that call or to submit to that call but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that uh, this call is going to transcend through time and uh, mashallah we have uh, like a billion two hundred millions and you know a lot of a lot of muslims now uh, more, more than more, more than a billion muslims make that call annually in their hearts on the day of hajj labbaik allahumma labbaik labbaik la sharika laka labbaik the same thing when imam hussein made that call uh, when he said ala min nasirin yansuruna is there anyone to help us uh, that call transcend through time uh, to our you know particular day now when we see millions of people who come to Imam Hussein who say Labbaik Ya Hussein that call they are making you know uh, not only on the pilgrimage of uh, of Shaban of the mid of Shaban but also uh, on the pilgrimage of Muharram and the holy pilgrimage of uh, Arba'een uh, respected viewers uh, we shall take a short break and uh, be back to you in a minute inshallah stay tuned uh, for uh, live footages uh, from the streets neighboring the holy shrines of imam hussein and his brother abu fadl abbas peace be upon them in addition to uh, live videos uh, from the uh, from the surrounding of the of the holy shrine of imam hussein stay tuned dear brothers and sisters <laughs> امروز و فردا میا حسین با تو چه معنوس دلم اسم تو حل مشکلم نمک عشق تو رو از اول فاطمه ریخته تو گلم حسین زمزمه عشق حسین رمز میه عشق حسین خاتمه عشق آقا حسین آقا حسین حسین بارون چشمام حسین خون تو رگ هام حسین همونی که میخوام آقا حسین تپش قلبم آقا 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 حسین ای دینا دنیا میا حسین سرود لبه ها میا حسین ای دینا دنیا میا حسین سرود لبه ها میا حسین تپش قلبم زربان من امروز و فردا میا حسین با تو چه معنوس دلم uh, Salamu alaikum respected viewers, uh, back to you from uh, the streets neighboring the holy shrines of uh, Imam Hussein and his brother Abu al-Fadl Abbas, peace be upon them, uh, in a live uh, report before we take the break, uh, we spoke of the uh, general atmosphere of the holy city of Karbala on the uh, time of pilgrimage, uh, in addition I had uh, a brother here from the holy city of Karbala who spoke to me of, uh, you know, of the atmosphere in general and uh, of the reasons that, uh, you know, pushed the pilgrims, that put the pilgrims in a state of coming to Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. 
Uh, now, my brothers and sisters, I have a few narrations that I, that I, that I totally stress, uh, basically. Narrations uh, from the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and his progeny. Narrations uh, from Imam Muhammad al-Baqir and uh, his son, Imam Ja'far ibn Muhammad al-Sadiq, peace be upon them. And of course, uh, uh, there, there is a, another night, there is another one uh, from, uh, from Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam on uh, Fadl, the mid of Sha'ban, the nights of the mid of Sha'ban, Laylat and Nusf min Sha'ban. Uh, I said it yesterday and I'm repeating it again that uh, the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and his progeny has said that during night, during the night of the 15th of Sha'ban, Allah the Almighty takes decisions in, in the matters of sustenance, life, death and welfare of people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, the narration basically says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, will put the decisions of uh, people, welfare, uh, sustenance and uh, you know people, people destinies up until the next year, the next mid of, of Sha'ban. The narration continues, next to the night of Qadr, the night of the 15th of Sha'ban is the most auspicious night. According to the Imams Muhammad ibn, uh, Muhammad ibn Ali al-Baqir salam and Ja'far ibn Muhammad al-Sadiq salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised to fulfill every legitimate desire put forward to him tonight. So uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, prepare your legitimate, le legitimate desires. Prepare your wishes and go uh, with your wishes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this night because it is a very, it is a very important night. It is a, a, a very auspicious night where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer everyone. There is no unanswerable dua, inshallah, on this night. The narration also continues. Uh, during this night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows on his people uh, from his bounty and forgive them out of his grace and generosity. So it's not only uh, that your wishes are to be fulfilled, but also um, all of your, you know, all of your sins to be, uh, to be forgotten. Prepare yourself my uh, brothers and sisters it is it is such a great night of the blessings of uh, of this night is that at the dawn of this night was born the leader of the time imam al mahdi ajallallahu ta'ala faraja in samara and uh, what a blessing uh, you know uh, anniversary and what a blessing occasion uh, that uh, an Imam, uh, the master of our time, uh, was born uh, in Iraq. Alhamdulillah. Uh, the narration also continues, uh, This is a night in which not a single person supplicates to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except that his prayers are accepted. Nobody asks for a single thing on this night except that it will be given to him. Uh, and there is an important thing to be uh, to shed light upon you know uh, <coughs> tonight is a unique opportunity because it happens once a year that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers everybody so uh, what I want you to do my my brothers and sisters uh, is that you uh, pray for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to hasten the reappearance of the master of our time to hasten the reappearance of uh, Imam al-Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance. Don't you want to see justice? Don't you want to see the divine equality, the divine justice happening on earth? Don't you want to see, you know, uh, an end to oppression? Don't you want to see uh, the tyrants being judged? By, by Imam al-Mahdi being punished for their tyranny. So, brothers and sisters, prepare your souls 
prepare yourselves with your pure souls, inshallah, with the, with the wish to be fulfilled by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to hasten the reappearance of the master of our time. Respected viewers, uh, stay tuned. Uh, we will be back, inshallah, in a uh, short break. Uh, stay tuned for the live footages uh, from the streets neighboring the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother, Abu Fadl Abbas. Peace be upon them. And uh, live videos uh, from the areas neighboring the holy shrine of Imam Hussein. Stay tuned, dear brothers and sisters. سرود لب ها می آسه تپش قلبم زربان من امروز و فردا می آسه با تو چه معنوس دلم اسم تو حل مشکلم نمک عشق تو رو از اول فاطم ریخته تو جلب حسین زمزمه عشق حسین رمزمه عشق حسین خاتمه عشق آقا حسین آقا حسین حسین بارون چشمام حسین خون تو رگ هام حسین همونی که میخوام آقا حسین آقا حسین رو لب و زنو زن آقا 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 حسین نفس فاطمه آقا 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 حسین تپش قلبم آقا 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 حسین رو لب و زنو زن آقا 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 حسین نفس فاطمه تپش قلبم آقا آقا بدو رو لبا زمه زمه آقا 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 موسی نفس فاطمه تپش قلبم آقا 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 موسی ای دینا دنیا میا حسین سرود لبا ها میا حسین ای دینا دنیا میا حسین Respected viewers, uh, back to you from the uh, street of, uh, of Qibla of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. The live report from the Holy Land uh, of uh, Karbala. Respected viewers, uh, we were speaking uh, of the narration, uh, of, the narration of, uh, of narrations of the of Fadl, the night of, of, of the mid of Shaban, which is basically tonight, inshallah. Uh, Allah the Almighty, the narration continues that uh, Allah the Almighty has chosen this night for the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam. You see there is, uh, there is some, some sort of, uh, of specification that Allah the Almighty has chosen this night for the Ahlul Bayt uh, alayhim salam in the, in the same way as He has chosen the Qadr night for our Prophet, peace be upon him, and his progeny. So uh, be proud, uh, the Shi'ats of the Ahlul Bayt, uh, that this night is for the Ahlul Bayt. And uh, as you know that the Ahlul Bayt are the gate of fulfillment to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The gate of fulfillment of Hajat. You know, they are Babul Hawa'ij to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, what about a night that is specificated to the Ahlul Bayt salam? The narration continues. The first thing that the Salik, which is the Arabic word for the wayfarer. But what wayfarer? The wayfarer of the path towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala must perform on this night is that he must remove the material pleasures and enjoyments. Brothers and sisters, don't be surprised. I, I've spoke on the same subject yesterday and uh, for the importance of this subject, I'm repeating it today. Uh, we were speaking about the wayfarer on, on the path towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he must remove the material pleasures and enjoyments of this world from in front of his eyes so remove all the uh, worldly pleasures from in front of your eyes my brothers and uh, and sisters and 
from his heart and in order not only his eyes but his heart also and in order to make the most of this special night and ensure that all of these actions are performed properly he must think to himself that tonight is the last night of, on, on this earth يعني, uh, basically uh, when you do the a'mal of the mid of Sha'ban you must think deep down inside of your heart that it is the last night we spend on earth that tomorrow we are traveling towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are going to be buried tomorrow so we've got to think that way we've got to think uh, that this is the last night we spend on earth and that the a'mal we do whatever you know uh, the worshipping that we are doing uh, it must be considered as the last worshipping that that we do you know the narration continues uh, meaning that tomorrow he shall die and thus he will no longer have the opportunity to perform any more good deeds and that tomorrow is the day of uh, is uh, the day of judgment imagine that tomorrow is the day of judgment imagine that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after this, this night uh, will lift your spirits towards him so when you do that when you pray for the master of our time when you pray uh, for the forgiveness when you pray for your hajat when you submit all of these worshipping uh, in the hands in between of the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know metaphorically speaking uh, it must be submitted in a way of uh, of hope in a way of knowledge that it is the last moment we spend on this earth and what a last moment it will be what a what a gracious last moment it will be subhanallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put so much blessings on this night uh, as the narration says uh, the, nar the narrations from the imams from the holy prophet peace be upon him and his progeny you know uh, the great honor of this night is that i repeat it again and again and again is that all the the hajat are inshallah to be fulfilled is that uh, that you you as worshippers must be like wafers on the path of allah you know seeking his forgiveness seeking his blessings and most of all on this night as i said my brothers and sisters we must seek an important thing in order to uh, to fulfill god's justice we must uh, ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we must pray for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to hasten the reappearance of the master of our time to hasten the reappearance of uh, of sahib al asr wa zaman ajallah ta'ala faraja because on his appearance uh, the world will be filled with justice as it is now filled with with injustice as now it is filled with oppression and tyranny respected viewers uh, i will uh, uh, begin uh, with the a'mal of the, of the mid of sha'ban what to recite and uh, how to do uh, the prayers and uh, how to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, there is a there is a uh, very you know beautiful narration from Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam uh, about uh, dua kumail uh, so stay tuned we will go in a short break and uh, we'll be back inshallah in a minute uh, stay tuned with uh, live footages live videos uh, from uh, Babul Qibla and uh, from the areas neighboring the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Fadl Abbas, uh, peace be upon them. Stay tuned, dear brothers and sisters.
بشه قلبم زربان من امروز و فردا میاسد با تو چه معنوس دلم اسم تو حل مشکلم نمک عشق تو را از اول فاطمه ریخته تو گلم حسین زمزمه عشق حسین رمزمه عشق حسین خاتمه عشق آقا حسین آقا حسین حسین بارون چشمام حسین خون تو رگهام حسین همونی که میخوام آقا حسین آقا حسین رو لب و زنوزم آقا 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 حسین نفس فاطمه آقا 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 حسین تپش قلبم آقا 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 حسین رو لب و زنوزم آقا 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 حسین نفس فاطمه تبش قلبم آقا آقا بدو رو لبا زم زم آقا 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 موسی نفس فاطمه Respected viewers, uh, back to you from Shar uh, al-Qibla of uh, Imam Hussein, Holy Shrine, peace be upon him. Uh, before we go, uh, before we, we take the, before we took our, you know, short break, we spoke uh, of the importance of the night uh, of uh, Mid Shaban. Uh, my brothers and sisters, it's so hot over here that uh, my iPad just turned off because of high temperature. Uh, however, we continue and mashallah, uh, you know, despite the fact that the weather, that the weather uh, is, uh, is too hot, uh, we can see that, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of people, I wish you were here with me. Uh, and inshallah, through uh, the cameras of uh, Imam Hussein TV3, you can get to see the, the numbers of people, uh, despite the fact that the weather is so hot, you can get to see uh, thousands of people and hundreds of thousands of people who came not only on this day, but also on yesterday and the day before. Uh, we uh, come back to uh, the A'mal of the month, uh, of, the, of the mid of the month of, uh, of Shaban. The narrations, various narrations, says, uh, you know, reports, uh, various A'mal and uh, you know uh, supplications of 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 the of the mid of Shaban, but here are the the you know the most important ones of them uh first uh recite 100 times subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar repeat it after me subhanallah walhamdulillah وَلَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ The second amal is take a ghusl, a bath which uh, with the thought of washing away sins you know when you're taking your bath generally you have to uh, basically think uh, of it uh, as uh, a bath of washing out sins of, uh, of on you and also you've got to think of it as the last bath you take in your life. The third time, the third amal, sorry, you have to recite 100 times Astaghfirullah with the mention, with the attention to seeking forgiveness, uh, which is linked uh, to the previous subject when we spoke uh, on the importance of the uh, night of the mid of Shaban when we said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tends to forgive those who really intend to repent to him. And here we see it in the A'mal. Recite, I'm repeating it, I'm repeating it again. Recite 100 times Astaghfirullah with the attention to uh, seeking forgiveness. The fourth A'mal is recite Ziyarat of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and special ziyarah of Imam Hussein alayhi salam for 15 uh, Sha'bam as all the prophets and angels visit the Imam on this night. There is uh, the ziyarah of Imam Hussein 
and there is a special ziyara of the mid of of Shaban that you have to perform uh, as uh, the holy prophets uh, and messengers of, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have performed uh, that ziyara on the mid of Shaban as a short salutation you know in addition to the ziyara one may go to the uh, uh, terrace, terrace, sorry, uh, an elevated place uh, could be a roof uh, or the top uh, of a veil uh, or the top of your houses generally, the top of a hill, sorry. Uh, look left and right to, and towards the sky and recite Assalamu alaika ya Aba Abdullah. Al Hussein wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, which basically means uh, peace be upon you, O Aba Abdullah. Peace and Allah's mercy and blessings be upon you. The fifth amal is uh, to recite, to recite, sorry, Salat of uh, Ja'far al Tayyar. Uh, the sixth. Uh, the sixth amal, which is uh, to recite Dua Kumail uh, for seeking forgiveness. In a hadith, it is mentioned that uh, Kumail ibn Ziyad said, I was sitting with my master, Amir al Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib, alayhi salam, in Masjid al Kufa, and a group of companions were also uh, sitting with him. One of them asked him, what what the meaning of uh, of the verse whereupon every wise command is made clear the imam peace be upon him replied the meaning of this is the night of the 15th of shaban the imam continues i swear by the one who holds the life of ali in his hands there is not a single servant of allah except that all the good and bad that will reach him in this year is divided up and handed out on the 15th of Sha'ban. And this good and bad will continue from the 15th of Sha'ban until the next year on the same night. The servant who stays up this night and recites the dua of uh, Khidr will have his supplications answered. This dua taught to Kumail ibn Ziyad and now known properly as dua Kumail. So my brothers and sisters, uh, be aware that dua Kumail uh, is basically uh, an important amal on the mid of Sha'ban. The, the seventh thing as I said before, which is, uh, and I remind you of it again, my brothers and sisters, uh, one must seek closeness to Imam al-Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance. The hujjah of our time, and here continues uh, with the al-qab of the Imam, uh, the nicknames of the Imam. Wal al-Amr, the greatest secret of Allah, the possessor of the divine occultation and inviter to the message of the prophet the successor of all prophets and successor of all successors of the prophets the physical manifestation of the justice of allah the flag of guidance the one who will destroy all corruption and oppression and those who oppose the truth the destroyer of the enemies of allah the magnitude and the misguided, sorry, and the disbelievers, the one who will purify the earth of uh, deviation and worship of the self. SubhanAllah, all these are the nicknames of the Imam. And inshallah, all uh, the, the concepts of these nicknames will come true after the luhur of the Imam, after the appearance. Uh, of uh, of the imam the greatest sign of allah 
the one who acts as the connection between the heavens and the earth. Our Imam, Master and Qa'im, Al Mahdi, may Allah uh, hasten his reappearance and may my soul and the souls of uh, my forefathers and the souls of all those in the universe be sacrificed for him. On this night, it continues. One should be also busy with, uh, with Ziyara. One should be always uh, busy with the, uh, with the A'mal, with the worshipping of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As I said earlier, my brothers and sisters, uh, we should be wayfarers on the uh, path seeking forgiveness and seeking closeness towards Allah subhanahu wa, wa ta'ala. We must uh, also uh, seek forgiveness for our sins, brothers. We are all, you know, uh, we all have sinned. We all uh, have sinned one day. And we are all, you know, uh, prone to commit sins all over our life. And uh, yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has specified a night for the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam. You see uh, the matter of the Shiites, the matter of, uh, let's say, being the lovers of the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam. It is uh, a great opportunity to take our blessings, to take the blessings of the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam to feel the blessings of the Ahlul Bayt on this night in particular. We must go with pure hearts, with the intention of seeking forgiveness, with the intention of, uh, of you know, with the intention of praying that may the Qa'im of, uh, of Al Muhammad, may Allah hasten his reappearance, uh, would, you know, would, would, would hasten, that Allah would hasten the reappearance of the master of our time. Respected viewers, I leave you now uh, with the uh, live footages uh, from Babu Qibla of Imam Hussein and the areas neighboring the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Qibla Abbas. Peace be upon them. Thank you very much for joining us in our live report. Stay tuned for more live reports and uh, also reports from the uh, streets of the uh, neighboring, the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Fadl, Ab Abu Fadl Abbas, peace be upon them, and uh, reports about the general atmosphere of the pilgrimage of the mid of Shaban. Thank you very much, my dear brothers and sisters. Stay tuned. الله الله للابد ما تعوفه علي ما على شفو هلا 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 للابد ما تعوفه علي ما على شفو فابو فا هلا شاهين الرايا ابو فا من هلا شاهين الله شار بيها حيل تشبه شارته راية العباس سبع القنطرة شار بيها حيل تشبه شارته أثر شف ينعنى عصف رايته راية العباس تموت على العباس قد ما حبته ولي شمها كان يشم من ريحته راية تموت على عباس قد ما حبته تموت على عباس قد ما حبته تموت على عباس قد ما حبته واللي يشم كان يشم من ريحته نعم على السماء من يعليها نعم على السماء من يعليها يغطيها الشمس من يهزبي الله لحظة مو من فوفة علي ما على شفوفة لحظة مو من فوفة علي ما على شفوفة أبو فاضل هل شايل الرأي